love that energy. I love how vocal you are. I love it so much. Please keep it going. We're going to play a little song we like to play before the boys come out. And I want you to rock with me so they can hear this wonderful energy you've been giving us. Are you ready? This is, I, I, was, I was raised in good old Collin County, right here. Collin County and the surrounding counties. Note to self, do not call it Colin County. Uh, I, I made that mistake. It's okay. not Colin County, it's Collin County. There's okay. a joke there, but we're going to leave it alone. All right, sure. At our age, it's better to just leave it alone. Um, oh, and Jared, yes, sir. you're from near the Houston parts. I'm from San Antonio and uh, Bear County. Bear County. Yeah. Also known as Bear Bexar Sahar. County. Yeah. <laughs> it's ironic because I hate bears. I'm terrified uh, of bears. Uh, but it's spelled Bexar. Huh. So, as y'all, some y'all know. Uh, Alright. Well, uh, good to uh, know. Now, I, I got that for my, you know, just for me. That's for my private Col stash. Colon County and Bexar County. Colon County Col and, bear and bears. Alright. Uh, enjoy, guys. We sure will. Thank you, Robbie. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, hi, guys. Hi. I'm going to get this out of the way. What is this? What? <laughs> kind of. We get very hot to it. <laughs> I thought he was tall. I thought he tossed it. I was like, oh, right on my hamstring down there. Uh, oh, look, at, look at this, pal. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. God. There you go. You are magic. There you go. Thank you, I got you. <laughs> Uh, thank y'all for bringing us and some pretty awesome, talented friends out to uh, Dallas. Uh, any first timers here? You guys have never been to a convention before? 
is only our 130th one. Where have you been? What? Ryan! 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 Bunny? Bunnies? Funny. 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 We're not funny enough. It's expensive. Money. <laughs> money. Money. Oh, money. 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 It's expensive. That's You're bored? <laughs> this is going south very quickly. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Board. Pull up. Our mission. Uh, <laughs> wow. Hey. Uh, oh. There are children's exactly. uh, in the audience. Um, well, it is, uh, it, is, it is a pleasure to be here. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, for those of you who are returning, it is nice to see you again. For those of you who are new, our apologies in advance. Um, this is going to be the longest hour of your life. And uh, I'm going to say something really quickly that I think is very important. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I got so excited. <laughs> uh, no, we, 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 have, uh, we have some people, well, we have two people that are responsible for the creation of this awesome gentleman in the audience with us. So I'd like a round of applause for Mr. and Mrs. Atkins. <laughs> so y'all have, have them to thank and or blame, depending on... Uh, <laughs> Depending on if you're a, you know, yeah. and if you ever Team lost, Sam or Team Dean, that's well, uh, the... More importantly, if you've, ever, if you've ever lost sleep watching anything Jensen's done, they will Venmo you uh, for a sleep therapist. Uh, but I don't think my dad knows what Venmo is. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? I never met him. It's not even a real word. Uh, so... We're surrounded by rules. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's uh, let's see what y'all have to say. Let's let's, let's yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. What are we waiting on? Uh, let's go uh, left side. Left side. Hi, I'm Paige. I'm from Wiley. Paige from Wiley. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was with gusto. Um, my brother and I would like to know if y'all are ever gonna plan to do a, another project together, like a show or a movie or something. Mm. Would y'all even want that? <laughs> <laughs> There seems to be an audience for that. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, yeah. We we don't have anything uh, currently planned, but uh, he and I, I think, will will always be open to, to that when the uh, when the right project comes along or the or the right timing of rebooting something that we've already done together. Yeah. Oh, uh, Gilmore Girls. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest, you're, you're looking at the projects that we're doing together right, right here, right now. We, we, uh, we still get to do this together, which is, uh, which is great, and, and we thank you all for um, giving us the opportunity to do that, because, I don't know, those many, many years ago when we met for the first time, um, had, he, had they told us that we'd be doing this, what, 18, 17 years later? Yeah, I would have signed up. I no, signed up. I would have <laughs> ripped that contract up and walked out the door, but yeah. alas, here we are. What can you do, Paige Wiley? Awesome. Thanks, Paige. That's your new name, is Paige Wiley. Paige Wiley. Yes, uh, thank you. Or uh, Wiley Page. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh, I'll wow. shut up. Uh, um, my, my, Hey, Jared, my last name is Walker, so I technically could be Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh, wow. wow. Well, go join the DPS and get something going while you page Walker. Uh, no, thank you for your question. And uh, my short answer is yes, I would, I would love to work with this guy any chance. I'm a little busy and he's a little busy, but we'll make it happen. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Hi. I'm Jolene. I'm from North East Darlene? Jolene. Jolene. Oh. Yeah, Jolene. Dolly um, sang a song about you. Yeah. That's fine. It's, it happens. Um, I was just wondering, um, since you guys had to fake being law enforcement officers on Supernatural. I'm sorry. Since we faked. Faked like law enforcement officers? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, now that you're in a show, where, like both of you have been in a show where that's your main role, how how different has that felt? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Does wearing the badge 
legitimately, legitimately in a role or fake or, or having a fake badge, uh, which is better. I prefer the fake badge myself. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, you get away with more stuff. It was <laughs> great. You're not really there to uphold the law. Yeah, yeah true. Um, we, I, I think, I kind of touched on this earlier, believe it or not, uh, about the way I think he and I both approach characters. And so when Sam and Dean were FBI agents or police officers or coroners or whatever, they weren't lying. You know, they weren't like, hey, well, here's what we're doing now. Um, I don't know what that was. That was, that was <laughs> it's a wonder I've ever been hired. So, well, hey, we're, 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 uh, no, but I, I feel like um, we approach the same way. Like Sam and Dean walked in as if like, yeah, no big deal, we're FBI. Or no big deal, we're, we're CIA. Or no big deal, we're this or we're that. Um, what, was your, what was your best uh, teddy bear doctors? Yeah, we're teddy bear doctors. Uh, I think one of the most interesting things to see an actor or actress do on camera is to see them tell the truth. Uh, not to tell a lie, so I feel like that's what Sam and Dean were doing, and I feel like we're, that's what we've been doing on, on Big Sky and Walker. Um, yeah, it's my thought. Yeah, sure, what he said. <laughs> See? Thanks. Thank you, Jolene. I like your song. <laughs> it's, Dolly, it's Dolly Parton's song. I know, but it's about Jolene. Did Dolly write that? Yes! Yes! You know, did we know, I know she said, did, did she write it? Yes! yes. I don't think we know. Um, <laughs> I think maybe, we know. maybe I'll look it up. Don't worry about it. I'll... Hi. Hi there. Hi. Um, What's your name? Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Where are you from? Dallas. Hi, Michelle Dallas. Um, <laughs> Do you know Wiley Page? No. <laughs> um, my, my question like I said, it's going to be a long hour. <laughs> Settle back, buckle in, fall asleep. That'll be. So that's his pickup line as well. It works. That was good. That was good. Hi, Michelle Dallas. Hi. Apologies. It's okay. Uh, my question relates to something you both have um, indicated, which was the sets are different. And besides the people on the sets, what are difference? What are the differences in the sets? And are there certain sets that lend themselves to being a director versus an actor versus a producer? Huh? Interesting. I'm talking about just like the the uh, vibe on set, like. I don't know. You guys both have indicated that some sets are different than the others. So oh, I see. Uh, so episode. Michelle Dallas was asking if it's <laughs> different on certain sets depending on the director, the actors, the producers, the writers. The, 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 I think the main answer is absolutely. Uh, there are bullet points to that. Um, there are some people, you know, what, what we do for a living, we're not, we're not risking our lives. Um, we're, you know, we can go get a coffee when we want, or a bag of chips, or whatever. Uh, we have trailers to get warm. But I think every person kind of gets stressed out to varying degrees. But your stress is your stress, you know, whether you're a doctor, uh, an attorney, a police officer, whatever. And so actors get stressed, uh, grips get stressed, gaffs get stressed, directors, etc. And it, it all kind of manifests itself uniquely to some extent. And so when you're working with people who get a little bit more stressed out, it raises the, the collective temperature on a set. And so if there's someone or some ones there that can kind of lower the temperature and go like, hey, it's all cool, we're playing pretend. Um, and we kind of had a saying, and you know, I think a lot of us in this audience have had people either in our lives or ourselves possibly who have said, say, dealt with cancer. And so we would be, we get stressed out and be like, hey, we're not curing cancer. We're playing pretend. We're trying to entertain. Like, let's go help somebody distract themselves from what they're going through. Uh, we'll distract ourselves. And so we knew that we weren't curing cancer, so to speak, uh, and kind of keeping that mindset. And I think the longer you have been in the industry and the more you've kind of worked here, there, and everywhere, and he and I have both, even though obviously Supernatural is 15 years, we've worked on 
dozen plus projects. Uh, if you have somebody, and if you can be that somebody that can kind of lower the temperature, it's just a lot more fun for everybody. And we, you know, I, I think we're pretty infamous for goofing around or playing pranks on set. But ironically, the sets that I've been on where people are having a good time, we finish under budget. We finish quicker. Because if somebody's stressed out, then what could take them five minutes takes them 20 minutes. And so I think we've just always tried to kind of do what we can to go like, hey, we're, we're, we're having a good time. We're playing pretend. You know, like, let's, let's <coughs> take this cool. Yeah, it's, um, uh, I mean, like you said, though, I, I think it is largely personal, uh, personality based uh, that sets the tone. He and I know that, that um, and, and even this is, you know, this is something that I've been told from crew members, uh, that the, the tone of a set is really set from the top down. So producers, directors, lead actors, um, they, the, they really set the tone of a set. And everybody else kind of takes their cues from how, how they handle themselves uh, on set. And so Jared and I, um, luckily we, we, we figured that out pretty quick and uh, tried to create a fun atmosphere, um, one that people felt, uh, you know, that was, that was exciting and people would want to come to work. And, it, it was inclusive and, and it was just a, a comfortable place for people to create and we were very proud of um, of the set that he and I helped build along with the helps of a crew and our other cast and our directors and our, our producers um, you know he went right on to Walker where he is again at the top of the call sheet and really setting a fantastic tone and giving a great example to all of the other uh, co-stars, the crew, the directors that come in, and now he's getting to do it for all the, the cast of, of who were just up on stage here for Independence, and, and he sets a great tone, as a, he's a great leader in that regard. Um, I have gone on to some other shows where I am not uh, the top of the food chain, uh, I come in more in the middle, <laughs> and I, I'm just a, a tourist, so to, say, so to speak, and... I can be. <laughs> Was window dressing. <laughs> um, so I've gotten to kind of sit back and experience what what the different vibes, what the vibes of a set that he and I are not really uh, the top dogs on are. And and I will say that it it is a different it is a different world out there. <laughs> um, but I try to come in and I try to at least do what I can to set. Uh, a good example for what I can set a good example for. Um, I can't always uh, make, you know, the, the lead actor or actress uh, behave a certain way. I just kind of have to maybe get out of the way and let them do what they're doing. Um, but, you know, I'd certainly do what I can when I get the opportunity. And I, I think that, you know, given the fact that we've had so much experience and he and I have had so much time in front of a camera and doing television over the past 20 years, um, I take a lot of confidence in that whenever I am in a situation that might be uncomfortable. Um, I was doing a scene with a very, very uh, highly regarded actor, had a huge career, and having this scene, this intense scene with him, and he forgot his line, and he, was, he started screaming, and he was like, what's the line? And that may have thrown some people off, been like, oh my gosh, like, you know, and kind of broke that, broke that wall. But I just kind of settled back and kind of grinned a little bit, and be like, mm, all right, <laughs> this is interesting. Uh -huh. And, and it, didn't, it didn't phase me at all, and, and I attribute that to the countless hours that he and I put in honing this craft. Um, so, yeah. Thanks. Thank you, Michelle Dallas. My name is Angela. Hi. And Jensen, I know you got to work with Reba McIntyre, so I was wondering if there's anyone that... What is it? You got to work with Reba McIntyre. Yes, I, I did. 
That's not who I was talking about just then. Is there anyone you still I, work with? I got to, I didn't get to work with Reba McIntyre like he did, but I did get to work with Reba Mac Partial. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had better in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll have to excuse my friend. Um, you, sorry, you were saying? Is there someone you still want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Like, who is your main person you want to work with? Oh, gosh. There's, there's, that's a that's present a company excluded. <laughs> I've already worked with you, moron. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of uh, very talented people uh, that I, I would I would love to get the opportunity to no not you that I would love to get the opportunity to work with. Um, I mean I who was I just uh, I'll just randomly pick one of the many that I would love to work with. I'd love to work with Tom Hanks. I don't know why, but I just, I feel like, I feel like he's a guy that sets a really good tone on set. <laughs> I'd like to work with Hom Tanks. This is because I hate Steve Norton. <laughs> I love Steve Norton. Uh, where'd Jensen go? <laughs> Why is this not... I was hoping it was louder. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Someone help us, please. We're, we're beyond uh, the ability to be helped. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. Hi. Hi. Um, my name's Autumn. I'm from Maine. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Hi, Autumn. Hi, Autumn from Maine. So my question for both of you, because I'm finishing grad school in two months and it's really scary, uh, what piece of advice would you give to someone starting a brand new career? I, you know, I remember how much Jensen said he would love to answer this question. <laughs> I'll answer it. Um, don't think you deserve more than you do. Do the tough work. Keep your head down and do the hard work. Um, when I first got on this little show called Days of Our Lives, are you having a stroke? You smell toast, don't you? Um, I, uh, I walked on set my first day, and I was really excited. I was going to meet Deidre Hall, who was, who played, who was, uh, I was playing my mother. And I knew she was a big personality, that she, you know, she was kind of the queen of the set. And she came right up to me, and I was really excited. I said, like, hi, Miss Hall, my name is Jensen Ankles. And she goes, you played my son, right? I said, like, yes, ma'am, I am. She's like, all right. Know your lines, hit your mark, and stay out of my light. <laughs> and I looked at her, and I had a choice to make. One was, I could be like, excuse me? Um, listen, I have just as much of a right to be here as you do. But that was the wrong thing to do. You know what I said? I said, 
Yes, ma'am. That's right. And that's exactly what I did for the next three years. And I, I got to study my, you know, my school, uh, getting to, to, to learn this craft was not going to an acting school or a drama, uh, you know, college or whatever it is. I learned it on that set by watching people like her and by studying the, the, the guys behind the camera and by learning from those who I, I were like, they've been on this show for, you know, over a dozen years. They certainly know a thing or two. I'm going to shut up and pay attention. And I think starting a new career, shut up and pay attention. And do the hard work. That's a, yeah, that's an amazing, and that's an amazing lesson. Uh, and it, it kind of goes, whether you're starting a new career or you're in the same career you'll be for the rest of your life. Uh, I heard some quote, I'm not gonna try and remember it, but it's something along the lines of like, you can have a party at your place with 100 people and you don't remember 90% that they were there. But the person who helped you take the garbage out when the party was over, you never forget that. Like, so whether you've been in a career for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, two years, or it's a brand new career, you never forget the person who's there helping you move tables, helping you take the garbage out, helping you do the dishes. Like, do, do the shit work. Like, that, that'll get you further and you'll understand more of, of the totality of whatever it is, uh, whatever endeavor, uh, you're joining or continuing. So do the junk. Like I think he and I both know like how to move marks, how to go like up the stick. Like this is, you don't get an award for staying out of people's lights, but if somebody misses their mark and you can shift out of their light, then you just save the crew five minutes because you don't have to go back to one and do it again. And you do that 10 times a day, you just save the crew an hour. They get home an hour earlier. The producers just saved an hour of uh, writing paychecks. People see their kids. So embrace the suck, you know, whatever the suck is in, uh, in your new... Earn it every day. Yeah. Earn it. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Autumn. Here's some ass. Hi there. Hi, um, I'm Kelsey from Waxahachie. I'm a fan of both of you. Oh, wonderful. Not Waxahachie, people. No. Waxahachie. That's right. So, like well, walking. Um, I'm sure y'all been asked this question, but this is my first time. Um, what's y'all's favorite or hardest episode that y'all had to film during the 15 years? Uh, favorite? Probably French Mistake. Yeah. Hardest? Probably French Mistake or the finale. Yeah. French Mistake was absolutely terrifying. Because you're like, how do we find the way? And when we get a phone call from the writer, it's like, hey, do y'all mind playing Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki? Like, what? what? Um, we're like, well, let us talk about it. We talked about it, and we kind of felt like, as long as it's Sam Winchester and Dean Winchester, then we could do whatever. But it was, you know, there was literally a scene where it was Jared and Jensen playing Sam and Dean, playing Jared and Jensen, playing Sam and Dean. <laughs> I have never done that before or since. Uh, nor have probably I, never will. Yeah, probably never will. Uh, so it was it was uh, it was a daunting task at the time. It seemed like uh, the finale sucked to film. I mean, I was yeah. Sure. It, it, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely. I'll hop on uh, the the hardest. I think was definitely the finale because it wasn't there wasn't necessarily a physical demand. Although that fight scene, that barn scene was was a that was a big fight scene. That was a two day fight scene. Uh, took two days to film it, um, but the the death scene was uh, was really tough just from a personal emotional standpoint for both he and I. Um, and you know you could talk to any crew member that was there on that day. There were boxes of tissues being passed around to the crew like while the scene was going on. Some people had to leave; they couldn't watch it because they'd spent so much time with these with us and with these two characters and with this story that they were watching us, not, not Sam and Dean, they were watching Jensen and Jared say goodbye to Sam and Dean. And that was a really hard thing to, and they were saying goodbye too. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a really difficult thing to do, but, a, but in the most beautiful way, because, because we earned that right to have that moment. 
and that was a that was a special moment. But it was really it was really difficult. It was really emotional. Um, my mo my favorite one of my favorite episodes to do was probably um, uh, Yellow Fever because whenever I got to whenever I got to take Dean out of his tough guy uniform and put him into something highly vulnerable like that, I always thought it was just a, a really really fun and enjoyable. That's amazing. And y'all, I don't know if we've talked about this, but a lot of the stuff that was the comical, you know, Dean screaming and jumping into Sam's arms, we didn't tell Jensen we were rolling. We just like had a cab run out, and so he just jumped into Jared's arms, and we used it in the show. So well, that wasn't me doing Dean being scared. That was just Jensen terrified of felines. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thanks so much for your question. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi there. Just give me a minute. Okay, all right. This is my girl right here. What's that? This is my girl right here. Okay. She's gonna support me during this. Okay, she sure will. So, hi, Jensen. Hi. I love you. Thank and you. I worship the ground that you walk on. No, you don't need to do that. No, I do need to do that. So my question is, about like, I don't know, maybe a month ago or so, mm -hmm. you mentioned briefly in some con that there was a new project that was coming yes. up mm -hmm. and there would be a press release soon. Mm. So when in your world is soon? <laughs> Soon, soon is, um, you know, a calendar year. <laughs> um, no, I will say that uh, there was literally a discussion on Friday about how to craft up the, uh, the, the press release. So it's um, probably not what you think, probably not what you think as far as like, oh, he's gonna be in a movie or, or something like that. It's a little different of an announcement, but it is, it is something that uh, certainly moves, moves the needle, if you know what I mean. No, I'm not telling you! You gotta wait for press release! We need news, Jensen. What? We need news. You need We're news? Fighting. Dude, they're not gonna tell anybody. As all the phones come up. <laughs> by the way, yeah. By the way, she, if you're listening closely, she didn't say we need news. She said we need nudes. <laughs> said that, so he just gave himself a run shot. <laughs> Trust me, you do not want to see us dance. No. no. He'll throw out a hip. And I won't, I won't ever get off the floor. Just help me up. Uh, yeah, I, um, it's, uh, yeah, just uh, some exciting stuff, and you will hopefully know in the next few weeks. Soon. Soon. Yes, you'll know soon. But And speaking of, uh, uh, Magic Mike, let's just say Jensen's needle will be moving. <laughs> you should just walk off now. You should just leave. That's it. Stop while you're ahead. <laughs> I've worked so hard for that. Thank you. I love you. Also, my mom's right there. <laughs> so I gotta... Thank you. I'm allowed to tell y'all my name, and you need to know 
It's Leslie Lawson. Why are you bending down like that? She can hold the microphone higher. <laughs> it's Leslie Lostamosa, and I'm from Denton. Yeah. Leslie from Denton. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> that was an adventure. How are you? <laughs> it was, for all of us. Hi, I'm Heather, I'm from Houston. Um, my question is, what would you say your favorite thing about playing Walker and Soldier Boy is versus playing Sam and Dave? Favorite thing, playing those two characters versus, yeah. versus the Winchesters? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, ironically, I think as Cordell Walker, the stakes are higher because I can't come back to life. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of fun playing in the, in the realm of, I mean, this is going to sound ridiculous, but playing in the realm of reality. You know, I know we're, it's not a documentary by any means, but um, it's, it's a bit different knowing that my character cannot just come back to life. But personally, on a, on a very... Uh, deep level for Jared, uh, getting to play a father. <clears throat> it's pretty cool, because uh, I've been a father now for almost 11 years, and so getting, I, I've never been able to do that before. Um, and so, it's funny. Jen, when we started kind of dating, I think she caught up on Gilmore Girls, and she's like, did you learn how to be a good boyfriend from Gilmore Girls? And I was like, maybe. Even though Dean wasn't the best boyfriend, I learned what not to do. And then, I think I, I, I kind of extrapolated on that myself, and I was like, maybe I learned how to be like a good sibling or leader from Supernatural, and now I feel like I'm learning how to be a better father through Cordell uh, from the stuff he does that's really solid, and from the stuff he does that's uh, a mistake. So I feel like I've learned how to be a better you know, spouse or boyfriend, husband, whatever, from Dean Forrester, a better uh, leader and sibling and friend from Sam Winchester, and now hopefully a better father through Cordell Walker. I, uh, I, I didn't learn those lessons from Soldier Boy. <laughs> so, largely the opposite of what he just said. Um, Soldier Boy is also a father for <laughs> being, being technical. Um, the uh, I will say that there there is um, <clears throat> your mom's right there. Oh, I know, I know. I'm choosing my words very wisely. There's there's certainly more of a freedom. Uh, <laughs> Playing, not just playing Soldier Boy, but being on uh, this kind of a show on a streamer. Um, a streaker. A stream, what? You should have stopped. You should have just stopped. Shut it down. Just lock it up, shut it down. Um, and I don't just mean like, I don't just mean like colorful language, which there certainly is that. But I just mean there's there is a um, a level of kind of the you know the gloves are off the, the it's there's no real um, there's no real ceiling to what what you can and, and cannot do and, and I and I feel like you really get to explore uh, in a way that I never you know you never really get to on broadcast TV um, and you get to play in a way that you had to really kind of censor yourself so to speak on on broadcast TV um, so. The, I feel like you get to take the characters to crazier places. And I, I enjoyed that aspect of what I got to do with Soldier Boy. Um, though the, the, you know, the toxicity with which that character kind of uh, lived in was, was also fun. Because it's like, you know, people say, Is it, was it fun playing the bad guy? It's always fun to play the bad guy. <laughs> he does, but the thing was, is he wasn't, he's not a bad guy in his mind. He's the hero of his own story, but to be toxic to everyone else was a real, um, was a real interesting uh, uh, thing to do and thing to play because it's definitely not what Dean was. Because Dean was kind of the opposite. He's, he's, and certainly Cordell. Like Soldier Boy's moral compass is not quite what Cordell's is. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's just just getting to do something out of the box was really fun. Thank you, Thank you so much.
know me. Oh. I'm from Plano, uh, although I grew up in You're Virginia. an English teacher. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> so I asked my best question this morning, but hopefully this one is okay. Um, it's <laughs> <laughs> so my good one was this morning, but uh, right. second best. Uh, it's Oscar season, and I was wondering if you have a best picture winner that you love, that's a favorite, or a movie that you feel like was robbed. Like, I firmly believe L.A. Confidential was the best picture of 1997. Oh, <laughs> like of all time, not just this year. Yes, yeah. uh, that's a great. That's a great. I mean, look, I think I think Top Gun Maverick should have been nominated this year, but that's just me. <laughs> I, um, I, I. Full disclosure, I don't know what the nominees are this year. I don't know if I've seen any of them. I, you know, with three kids and a couple of jobs, I don't get out much. Um, <laughs> But uh, I will say that over the holidays, my wife and kids and I, we all flew to Australia. So I left from Nashville, went Nashville to Dallas, Dallas to Sydney, Sydney to Hobart, Hobart to like some national park in Tasmania. And on the Dallas to Sydney flight, I watched three movies. I watched Top Gun Maverick for the first time. I loved it. Uh, and I watched the, the DiCaprio movie with Mark Ruffalo. It was like a, kind of a thriller, Scorsese. Shutter oh, Island. Shutter Island. And then, and they're both good. Uh, and then I watched The Incredible Weight of Massive Talent. Oh yeah. Oh, it's yeah. so good. Love it. Yes, it's yes. amazing. It's so amazing. Yes. And so Jake, uh, I was talking to Jake the other day, and I was like, dude, have you seen The Incredible Weight of Massive Talent? And he's like, ah, huh. I was like, what, what does that mean? Ah, huh. He's like, ah, I like the first half. What? Like, what you, so I, I, I absolutely, if you have not seen The Incredible Weight of Massive Talent, I, I cannot, well, I don't know if it's Shakespeare, but um, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I watched it twice. Uh, so that gets my Oscar, because I think it's so funny. I think Pettis that, That's not nominated, is it? I doubt it. No, I doubt it. Is, um, is Triangle of Sadness nominated? Triangle of Status? Sadness. Which one? Triangle of Sadness. Yes. It is, right? That's my pick. I don't know if you guys saw that. Did you see it? Triangle of Sadness? Oh, weird. <laughs> it's it's almost like if White Lotus was a movie on acid. <laughs> What's White Lotus? Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what White Lotus is? I don't get out much, dude. I, you don't need to get out to see it. That's literally. The one thing you don't need to do okay. is get out! I love White Lotus. I love it so much. Did you see Get Out? <laughs> yes, I did. But right. it was... Now we're getting somewhere. No, I, I know what White Lotus is. I've seen it. Um, White Lotus was already on it. Triangle of Sadness. It's, it is... Triangle of Sadness. It's, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's, um, it's probably not for everybody. I'm just gonna warn you. If you're watching it, you're like, What in the hell is happening? Um... You're right. <laughs> but you can always dial it down a notch by just watching White Lotus. Sure. Okay, yeah. got, it. got it. Yeah, which is also a, uh, a great program. Um, yeah, I'll go with Triangle of Sadness. And one that got robbed, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Saving Private Ryan got robbed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They lost to Shakespeare in Love, oh, yes. which is yeah. great, yeah. but Saving Private Ryan was, yeah, it lost yeah. the best picture to Shakespeare in Love. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Good answer. I agree. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> How are you? Hi, uh, Jessica from Oklahoma. Um, Hi. It's, uh, we accept Oklahomans here. It's okay. <laughs> I, I brought my mama for her first con for her birthday. Uh, oh, yeah, so mom. I'm going to steal her question. Uh, she was wondering in all the years you'll... Film Supernatural, all the fight scenes y'all did, did y'all ever actually get hurt or injured? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, broke, I broke my wrist. Uh, I was in the cast season two because I had done a sequence. I broke my wrist, I tore my back, I tore my... I got, he stabbed me? I, I wasn't in a fight scene. <laughs> and I was... It, probably my fault. Remember the scene where he fights, uh, it, it's the Mark of Cain. It's the, it's the big fight, the big barn fight with Cain. Yeah. 
So he had that massive knife, and he comes down the stairs, and I'm looking up, and only he can go fight him. And so Dean comes down, and he's holding this massive knife. Let's say that's the knife. And so Dean has just been in this knockdown dragout war. It's, it's kind of stumbling around. Well, come here. I'll do it. I'll just. It was, this was the knife. <laughs> just right in. Just and I felt as soon as I, he, I, his, his knee came up. I mean, my knee, the knee like came right up into it, and I was like, oh, that knife's in his leg. Yeah. But here's the thing, we didn't stop. We literally could. <laughs> and then they called cut. And then they called cut. Don't move. <laughs> Medic. <laughs> blood coming out of my hands. Um, yeah, there was blood just plumed on his jeans and. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, but I give it to my boy. He did not stop today. I'll cut. Knife in leg. And, and I felt I I, uh, I could I could feel for a second Jensen go like, okay, I know that went in, but I think he took it off of me going like, alright, let's just we need like four or five more seconds. And so then as soon as they call cut, he's like, dude, you good, you good, that went in. Uh, first aid, first aid. And like blood is pooling in through my pants, and I had it was, it was we were shooting in the winter, so I think I had uh, under layers on also. So it all it, it, we had to do. I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, and so we did like another take or two just to clean it up. And by the time I could get out and see our first aid, it had stuck to my leg. And so when I was getting undressed, I had to like, mm -mm, like ripping hair out and stuff because it kind of dried. Fun times. Yeah. Now, just to just to kind of you know uh, cover our bases here, there were rubber knives that we yes. have yeah. that we you know we would use with the fight, and that's but there was also uh, a metal one that you use for like close-ups or when you're not swinging it at somebody. Extremely dull. Very there, yeah. There's no fine edge on any blades you on set. Cut, but cut. for the metal ones, they still have to come to a point to look like a knife, and that point is still pointy enough to go into a leg. Well, I basically, he's holding it, but the idea is that he just makes it far enough to collapse into Sam's arms. So Jensen's not a small guy, and so I knew I was gonna be able to like stand up and hold him, and so I just went and kind of like went into squat mode. And so I basically, here's the knife, and I basically just need it as hard as I could. So yes, 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 yeah, a lot of times. Yeah, yeah we've, we've had, I mean, we've twisted and bruised just about every muscle in our body doing the fight scenes and um, things like that, so. More importantly, are you a personal injury attorney? <laughs> Dang it. That's all right, well, it'll work. But we're all, we kept going until he found rebar. <laughs> Too soon? Uh, thank you for your question. Thanks. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm Haley, I'm from Noonday. Noonday? 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 Noonday. 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 Is that next to Nanu? <laughs> 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 what is the best and the worst role you've ever played? The best and the worst role? Can, can we answer for each other? <laughs> New York Men is Jared's best role. Um, uh, the best. Boy, oh, Devour? No. Who's playing Devour? Uh, best and the worst. I think. I'm a, I'm a fan of Jensen. Known him for about 20 years. Uh, I'll always be partial to Dean, not just because it's great on camera, but because I spent 15 and a half years. Working with Dean, like Dean, and, yeah, and y'all, y'all, this isn't like a neener neener braggadocious thing, but y'all saw what our cameras captured, but I was living with Dean, you know, like he existed. Jensen and I would be in the hair and makeup trailer or in the car on the way to work, reading through this and that, and then we'd rehearse, 
And then they'd clear out and call action, and I was like, oh, this is a, a, a living, breathing human being that is fully fleshed out. So I'm going to be partial to Dean, even though he's been great in a lot of things. Um, I think his worst character he ever played was uh, <laughs> those brick pants. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't a character. Well, no, 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 no. Just call it a character, dude. Just but, call it a character. Because otherwise you're calling Oh, it trust me. It was an out-of-body experience, that's for sure. <laughs> We're supposed to do some photo shoot, and the, the costume designer goes, I think these would look really good on you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure. And if you haven't, for those who haven't experienced the glory that is Brick Pants Ackles, I'm going to start a Twitter handle called Brick Pants Ackles. It's already there. All right. Your turn. Let's hear it. Give it to me. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy him with Sam. Yeah, because that's Sam was somebody that again. Uh, I got to I got to see in the flesh almost every day for you know nearly two decades. So um, certainly partial to that one. The worst character he's ever played is um, <sighs> I didn't hear what you said. Cheaper by the dozen. For those of you who didn't know, he was in Cheaper by the Dozen with Tom Welling. The reason that he got that role was because of his uh, it, it acting skills, which I'm not sure he had any back then. Or now. It was his height, because Tom was like, the guy's gotta be at least a bit taller than me if he's gonna be the bully. Um, but no, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Flight of the Phoenix. And here's why. Because he died in like the opening credits. <laughs> And, and I sat down to watch that movie, trying to, like, to support my buddy here, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna sit down and watch this, I can't wait, he's talked a lot about his time in Africa, and this is gonna be awesome. And not 30 seconds into the movie, he's the first to die, and I'm like, well, there's a whole other hour and 40 minutes of movie left. Does he come back from the dead? Who goes out to pee in the middle of a sandstorm? Right! <laughs> Terrible idea. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'll there take you go. It. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. What, what do you think is our best? Oh gosh. Course? You want to open up that Pandora's yes, box? Yes. Oh, yes. Remember, we're big and we're in Texas. We may be armed. <laughs> we may be armed. <laughs> no, he's right. <laughs> Start with Jensen. From Gimbal Girls, obviously, yes. <laughs> the worst was in Boys. The worst was the boys? Oh. Why? It was, good. it was good. You're gonna wanna hit that exit door right there. <laughs> I would not go sit back down. That's No, what Explain yourself! I loved it, but it was <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was I very it. different. It's very different. It wasn't the dean you were looking yeah, for. It was very different. Yeah. I think that was my favorite. It's different for me too. <laughs> all right, well, I, I saw things I can't unsee. <laughs> we all did, Jensen. We all did. on you. <laughs> okay, if you can, if you still have the shovel and you can dig down further, go ahead. And... Yeah. She's like, uh, my favorite Sam in the worst is Cordell Walker. <laughs> she might say that. Alright, let's hear it. So Sam was my favorite. Okay. <laughs> and I think the worst was when you died in the first 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, she, she agrees. Alright, alright. Yeah. Well, thank you. Smart. Smart, very smart. Again. There's the answer. Thank you. Okay. That means it's time for the last question. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's literally the last question. It's the last question. It's the last question. That's it. This is the last question. This is going to be the last question. It's the last question. There won't be any more. It's the last question. It's the
seems to be getting harder and harder, Rob. But SPN family from Plano and the surrounding counties, meet Leslie. <laughs> Leslie, hi right, Leslie, where are you from? I'm from Louisiana. But Ooh, what part? The Ritters, by Lake Charles. Yep. But I live in Aubrey, Texas. Aubrey, Texas, Aubrey, all right. Texas. What is your question? So I've been a registered nurse for 20 years. Wow. And so my question is... Yeah, you're telling me. we have staring at him for an hour. So my question is, if you guys weren't actors and you had a second choice, what would you like to do? What kind of career would you like to have had? Like maybe like when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> when you were a kid, you know, like maybe what, what did you want to be when you grew up? Hmm. Um... I, I, this, the thing is, like, he and I started out when we were basically kids, yeah. and so oh, yeah. I, I didn't. Lives. <laughs> I saw you on Days of Our Lives. There you go. I was a teenager when I started on that, so I didn't necessarily have a career path in mind at that time. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll go to school and figure it out. But instead, I went to LA and signed a contract, and after after several years on a soap opera and hitting my mark, learning my lines and staying out of Dieter Hall's light, <laughs> I was like, hey, I think I could do this. And then that's when I went at it full bore. Um, but I don't know, I, you know, I'll, I'll, take, a, I'll take a little uh, chapter from your book. If, if, if it all went away tomorrow, I would hope to find uh, a position in a, an industry that helps people. A bit similar, bravo to you, uh, first and foremost. I was, my intention was to go to UT in Austin and do uh, engineering and ultimately do pre-med like my brother had done three years before me. Uh, that, you know, uh, that I've been saying my brother who is a surgeon uh, can't talk enough about how amazing nurses are and how difficult their jobs are. So. <laughs> Especially after the last few years. Yeah. You guys are yeah. certainly heroes on all levels. Yeah. Uh, at 40 years old, if I had to go into a new profession uh, tomorrow, I'd like to teach. <laughs> so I don't know if I know enough about anything to teach. I was going to say, what would you teach? <laughs> Bad jokes. Bad jokes? Bad jokes. <laughs> Where am I? Give us, you got one? Oh, she has a bad joke? Okay, so... Hold on. That is bad! <laughs> uh, what kind of... Uh, or what does a gingerbread man put on his bed? Oh, I don't know. Cookie sheets. <laughs> <laughs>
stampede towards the exits. <laughs> Let him bring in our next guest, who we have.